Hey guys, Pajama Stacking here. I uh, thought I'd tell you, make a video today. Uh, I'm showing you guys my Morgans and uh, talk a little bit about the Morgan dollar. Um, so up top are all of the graded Morgans that I have. I only have about four, uh, exactly four. <laughs> um, for my graded Morgans, I'm trying to go for the anything that's uh, MS-63 or above, and preferably proof-like, so PL, to get the PL on there. So, I'll kind of um, rearrange these a little bit. So, first off, we'll, go, we'll show this guy. This I actually bought off Atmex, and this is the only one that is not PL. Well, the only one that is not physically PL. But it's an MS-63 Plus. It was the first Plus grade I saw, and I thought it was kind of cool. And I was kind of shocked that this was a 63. I thought this was like an easily a 64. But I am not a professional by any means when it comes to coin grading. Um, a lot of you guys probably know much more than I do when it comes to grades of coins and coin grading. Um, Here's the other one that's not written as a PL, but it actually looks like it is. It's just the, the San Francisco, the S, the S's were hard to get the PL grade because I guess a lot of the coins that came out of San Francisco Mint were proof-like. And so had to be like extremely proof-like to get the PL designation for San Francisco Morgans anyways. So this one does not have the PL designation, but it is MS-64 and it was proof-like enough for me to purchase and consider it proof-like, so I bought it and I don't regret it. Here is the MS-63 PL, 1898. For these, you can really tell more from the back reverse. It's kind of hard to get this one the other, see the 81 at, uh, 81S even looks more proof-like than this one, but it's San Francisco, so it's kind of harder to get that PL designation. So, you kind of see. This one's a little tough to see, to be honest with you. And then this here's the Probably my favorite, the 64 PL. This one or the 81S? Probably this one though. This just looks beautiful. Clearly PL. Got that frosty eagle with the glass-like back or mirror-like. So yeah, those are my graded Morgans. Um, then these seven, six I bought from Atmex, one I bought from SD Bullion. These are AU um, 1921s, P, D, and S. These are all P though, or no, no mint mark. But I'm starting to really like these Morgans, you guys, um, <laughs> if you can't tell. And I actually have another order coming in. It should be shipped tomorrow. I did the e-check. Or actually, I'm sorry. Shipped on Tuesday, November 1st. Of 13 more of these. So, that will complete the full tube. So, we'll have a full tube of uh, 1921 AU Morgans, pd and Just kind of show you guys. It's more just appreciation than, than anything for this video. Um, so these seven on the top row are all new. Um, I bought these. I came in the well, came in the mail over the past week or so. These two, I kind of uh, this one I bought by mistake for sure. I meant to get the 1921 VG to XF. 
I, instead, I accidentally, by mistake, because it was totally my fault, I was just in a rush buying, but I went the pre-1921 um, VG to XF. So this was kind of a mistake. This one wasn't a mistake, but I was not really happy with what I got. This was, this was the 1921 VG to XF. But you guys, you can see, I mean, this thing is rough. This is like definitely VG, <laughs> um, in my opinion. But I did order that one correctly and it came in correctly, so I can't complain. So they're really this, but I consider both of these kind of mistakes. Um, I, I just, I don't really like these. They kind of disappoint me, especially compared to the AUs. Yes, the AUs were like maybe a dollar more, maybe $1.50 more. Is it worth it? Yes, I, I do think that it is worth it. Because these looks just so much better, you guys. You get the detail. It just, it looks so much nicer. And you're literally only going to pay a dollar more than this. I mean, then why not? And especially when I was um, kind of mainly what I'm making this video about is... For the future, you guys. Premiums and the availability of these. I don't know what the availability of these are going to be like in the future. Consider five, ten years from now. Um, you know, I know the majority of the stacking community is, you know, um, adults. People maybe nearing retirement or in retirement or, you know, maybe 40s, 50s. But, uh... Like right now, you can just go to atmex.com and buy an AU Morgan for 36 bucks. Yes, an ounce of silver is like less than $20 right now. So this would be, and you're not, it's like 0.7 of an ounce. But these have numismatic value and the premiums are not coming down, you guys. These premiums, I just... They're only going to go up, I feel like. Uh, a specific amount of these have been created and are out there and are being made into jewelry. Um, unfortunately, being melted down. Hopefully not, you know, but I'm sure a dozen or so get melted down every year. Probably more, unfortunately, but they're made into jewelry. They're lost. So... You know, five, ten years from now, who knows if you're going to be able to go online and buy an AU 1921 Morgan for 36 bucks. It might be like 50 or 60 bucks, you know. It'll still be there probably, but the premiums are probably going to be like even more insane. Like what people think premiums are insane right now. I mean, just you wait, you guys. I have a feeling that premiums are going to be what's going up and not the spot price. Um, I don't know who made the video, but, or a comment. Uh, I'm not even gonna go into it, but you know, I just, I feel like premiums are here to stay and they're gonna <laughs> rise more than likely. Uh, they're just gonna keep going up. Um, so I would say buy up these Morgans, you guys. Um, I don't know what the availability of these are going to be like five to ten years from now. I've said that two or three times now, <laughs> but it rings true. Um, you just don't know what the market is going to be like um, in the future. Like, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that these are this cheap right now. That they're only $36. That they're only $35. These should be, in my opinion, getting close to a $100 coin. An AU 1921, yes, like 20 million of these, or I'm sorry, the P, the D and S had like 22 and 20 million minted. The Philadelphia had quite a bit more, but still, these are a over 100 year old coin in almost uncirculated condition for $36. You guys, <laughs> like, I don't know. Some people think that's a high premium. I think that's a fire sale you guys um i really do think that these specifically the morgans whether it's 1921 or 
especially the pre-1921s. Their premiums are just going to go up. They're not going to go down, you guys. Um, so you can almost ignore spot with these and just focus on what the premium is. But I just don't think premium is going to come down. They're just going to keep going up. Um, like I said, and you guys all know, a specific amount of these were made, and that's it. Period. You know, some are being made into jewelry. Some are lost and destroyed. Some are melted down. Um, so they're all, there's always a less and less and less amount of these each year, every single year. Some are lost, being destroyed, turned into jewelry every single year. So I keep going back to this, but five to 10 years from now, I'm willing to bet these are going to be $100 coins, $150 coins. Because they're going to be, and with that, the ones being lost, the AU ones are probably, some people are going to buy these, like maybe one or two, and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this is super cool. I'm going to send it in and get graded. And so... The raw Morgans, I think, are even going to be more rare because eventually they're all going to be VG to XF or coal or they're going to be graded. The AU and BU, I think their premiums are going to be going sky high. This is just a complete prediction. Um, you know, I have no evidence to back this up. <laughs> this is just a shot in the dark. Um... But this is, that's my mindset right now is I just, and the same thing can kind of go with um, junk silver or like similar concept. Since junk silver, you know, an X amount is out there and the floating in the abyss and definitely with junk silver is being made into jewelry, destroyed, melted down, um, like for sure. But um, these Morgans, these are just such a beautiful coin. Just look at this. It's so so pretty <laughs> like so I um, I would say get these while you can because I'm I'm just I'm I'm surprised at how cheap they are right now surprised like and the premiums have just as I'm making this video like just went up a few days ago like the um, like $10 rolls of quarters, or I'm sorry, I should say $10 rolls of like half dollars went from $225 or $229 to $245 or $249. So up 20 bucks just like overnight, just because the demand is there. And same with Morgan's. Morgan went up by like a dollar. Um, yeah, right around a dollar. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys stack or collect um, Morgans or junk for their availability just because you like them, because you think they're pretty? Or, um, yeah, tell me, what, what, what do you guys think? What, what's your guys' mindset on junk silver and Morgans? Um, I guess peace dollars too, but they made quite a few more peace dollars. I'm kind of ignoring peace dollars. Probably get a tube. Um, of like AU peace dollars just to have it just because you know I kind of view my safe as like my own mini coin shop <laughs> so I want to have at least one of everything um, so but yeah I'm, I've been really liking these Morgans I have 13 more coming in the mail to finish this tube of all AU 21 oh let's see my battery is low All right, well, this video is getting long anyways. So, um, yeah, tell me what do, you, what do you guys think? Show me your Morgans. Um, I'm gonna throw a link in the description of Spokane Silver Stacker. He just uh, made a video not that long ago of showing off a couple Morgans that he picked up. He was either at a coin show or a local coin shop, uh, but they look super cool. One of them, um, you know, I'm not even going to say. You guys will have to go over and check it out yourself. But there's one of them that I think is super cool that you guys should definitely take a look at. It's raw, like this. Um, and I, like, after seeing his, I really want one, man. That looks super cool. I'm jealous. 
Um, let's see if it'll focus. Hmm. There we go. But yeah, he has uh, a couple raw Morgans he picked up. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, his video is super cool too. So, but yeah, I don't know. Stack those Morgans, collect those Morgans, do what you want, and invest in those Morgans. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people have been making those videos lately. Silver stacking, or is it an investment? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the never ending debate. But tell me what you guys think. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Happy Halloween.